I have never made anything for my dad, and he is a 57 Chevy lover, so I'm going to try to make this for him. So we'll see how it goes. Welcome to Star Scorcher. I picked out a piece of Paduk for the 57 Chevy, and I'm going to cut that out. This piece is going to be the most forward piece on the 57 Chevy. So I'm going to sand that first so I can get the round shape because I want it to stick out and then have the rest go back and this go back. I'm trying to get that fender shape. Let's see how it looks. All right, yeah, it's getting that shape. I'm looking at the different angles and liking it so far. I need to make that lower and do some more sanding, but I'm, ex I'm curious to see how these look. And I'm going to do something different with this one. I am going to paint the chrome with a silver paint. Ooh, taboo. Not even stain, just paint. See how that looks. I'm excited about it. idea. The windows and the headlights, I'm going to see if I can make those out of plexiglass. Found a big old piece of plexiglass. Well, that worked out awesome. So it'll be really exciting to take off those plastic or the little covers on it once I get it all sanded and get this, these fuzzies off. I think I'm to the point where I can start doing my hand sanding. All right. I used a piece of double-sided tape to hold down these little small pieces while I spray paint. I'm usually pretty heavy with the spray stuff, so I'm just going to leave that for now and then spray up the, the rest of it when that dries. There's another coat. I think I like that. On to sanding the rest with the 150. I think I'll look up some pictures of M57 and see. Well, it looks to me like chrome all the way around the headlights and those black little pointy things on the bottom are black. <laughs> Alrighty then. I took my picture I cut out backer board so I can glue the finished project on it. But I have an idea. I've got my iron out here and I want to see if I can put 
put my logo, actually I don't have a logo, but put my name on there, anywho. Printed my name backwards, and I'm going to try and put this onto this piece of backer board wood with the iron. I'm excited to see if it works. I don't know if it will or not, but yeah. Let's try that again. Okay, I got some heartier looking lettering and a sunflower. Let's try this out. Okay, I got it. To go a little bit better still doesn't look like I was hoping it would look so I don't know if I'll do that again or maybe I'll try it with some different ink or something the paint is finally dry I'm going to assemble it see how it looks before I start gluing I decided to spray a couple more things black this time. Oh, I don't know if this thing will ever get done. Now I have to wait for the black paint to dry. Those black pieces are dry now and I put them in place and I made the back black because the windows are going to be clear and I wanted it to be back, black in the background of those windows. So I'm going to start gluing onto this back black ground. The glue is all dry. Now I get to spray the uh, finish on the top of it. And when that dries, then I can add the windows. The Paduk was looking pretty red, and now it's looking the normal orangish Paduk, but that's okay. So that's the first coat of the finish. We'll let that dry, maybe do another coat, and then get those windows in there. Finishing up, hopefully. Here it is, all sprayed and everything. And I found, a, I did a boo-boo here where I didn't make the backing board tall enough so I can see through that. So I spray painted a little piece of wood and I'm just going to cut it and glue it in right there real quick like. And then I'm going to see if I can put the windows in. Okay, so I have one of the windows right here. And it's going to be going right in there like that. Uh, I think that is going to look really good. I just have to figure out how to grab it and put it in there. And I think I need to use a tweezer.
Okay, I'm a little nervous about this. Yeah, I figured out I can use tape to be like a handle. And it's just getting the glue in the right spot and then getting the tape off of the piece of plastic are the challenges. Seem to work. Okay, I have those taped into place and we'll just have to see how that goes. Well, they're all dry now. I'm going to take the tape off. I have some cleaning up to do of the excess paint. So I'm going to do that. There's the 57. There's the back with the size corner on it. And I've cleaned it up and I've sprayed some air in there trying to get rid of some of the fuzzies of the glue. So I'm done now. And I'll see you next time.